Hi everybody, my name is Sandy Boucher and welcome to today's video. Um, as you know, I work every single day to help people get ahead in their lives, to achieve their dreams, to become happier in their existence and what they do to find happiness. So as I was doing my work and working on my latest workshop this morning, I was starting to think of the barriers to happiness. What keeps us from achieving our dreams? And one thing came to mind, loud and clear. And I guess that can best be summed up as that little voice in your head. Bottom line, I can tell you that I think you're amazing and you're fantastic a million times. If that little voice inside your head is telling you something different, you're not even going to hear me. And you're definitely not going to believe me. Now, don't get me wrong. I know exactly what that's like. Don't forget, I'm a 10-year abuse survivor. I swear that the words that came out of my abuser's mouth was nothing compared to the things that the little voice in my head would say to me. What I'm here to tell you today is the good news. The good news is you can control that little voice in your head. It takes practice, but trust me, it can be done because I've done it. So here's how. Tell the little voice to shut up. Seriously. If I walked up to you today and said, you know what, you're an idiot. How fast would you tell me what I could do with that opinion? I hope quickly. That's what you need to do to the little voice in your head. The next time that little voice says you're stupid or you can't do this or you'll never amount to anything or whatever the horrible words are, just in your mind or out loud if you have to, scream, stop, enough. If the voice starts again, say stop again. If you have, it's going to be hard in the beginning. This takes practice, so don't be discouraged. If you have trouble overcoming that voice, distract yourself. Go turn on your favorite music. Go scrub the kitchen. Do whatever you have to do, preferably something you enjoy, something that makes you feel good about yourself. In time, you will be able to stop that voice to the point where you just don't hear those words anymore. Argue with the voice in your head as much as you would argue with some ignorant stranger who said the same horrible things. They are not true. That is not the Creator speaking to you. That is not God speaking to you. That is just, unfortunately, a tape, a replay of all the horrible things that have been said to you in your past. And you know what? I, for one, am truly sorry that anyone has ever said those things to you because none of us deserve that. I didn't and you don't. So today, take that step for yourself. It won't cost you a dime. Start saying stop to that voice and then watch how fast your world changes for the better. I'm thinking of you as always. Have an amazing day and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.